Hi everyone, this is Rob Roy and welcome to the LA Wave Options S&P 500 US Market Update. Well, I wanted to come back and talk to you because last night when I talked to you, I mentioned that the futures were down because there had been the first reported uh, communal transfer case of the coronavirus in the US and that the futures were down. And if we didn't hold the current level of where we were, we were heading down to 303 uh, on the SPY. And that's exactly what happened in today's trade. So with the craziness, I want to come back, show you those charts, remind you of what we've talked about and give you an update of where we might go from here. So let's take a look at the charts. So here's the chart of the SPY that I showed you last night where I mentioned that uh, we we're going to come down. We thought we'd come down to maybe the 314 level. And if that didn't hold, we were coming down to 302 and change, roughly the 303 level. And that's what happened. We came down further today. And in the chart from today's market, you can see that we actually broke even below the 302 level, heading down towards that 38.2% level around 295 which we may actually touch tomorrow but again look at the importance here of where this level is so not only was it the 61.8 percent uh, fib extension level it was also the highs from july and the highs from september and so we said that um, if we didn't hold this level up here at 313 we were coming down here and we did all in one day it's exactly what happened now we're getting to the point where it's really important that we hold this level our things start to get really really serious if we look at the moving averages you can see we are incredibly oversold at this point based on where we are with the 10-day moving average i also wanted to show you volume which is literally off the charts you can see the unbelievable volume that we've had today but another thing that i wanted to remind you of is Back on September 3rd, I did a recording, posted it right here, where I mentioned the fact that the yield curve had inverted in August. So I showed you the chart of the yield curve, yield curve inverting, and here's exactly what I said back on September 3rd. Have a listen. The thing that bothers me is when you hear uh, all of the pundits on TV making excuses saying, oh, well, you know, it's because of the countries with negative rates and all, it's pushing things down, and it's different this time. And, We've talked about this in past recordings, but when you hear that phrase, it's different this time, it's usually not different this time. It's usually the same thing. It's just people try to find excuses not to scare people. Remember that those on the financial networks, most of those people are money managers. They have assets under management and they want people to keep their money there because they, they get paid for having assets under management. So as I mentioned back on September 3rd, it's never different this time. No matter what the market pundits tell you, and they're like, oh yeah, we the, half the world has negative rates, and that's the reason that the yield curve inverted, and it's different this time. It's just, it's never different this time. You can see now that the coronavirus shutting down China, South Korea's basically at a standstill. Is the U.S. going to be next? Uh, Canada, uh, where else in the world are the economies going to slow down or even shut down? You can certainly see where a uh, recession in these countries, if not a global recession, could be on the horizon in the not too distant future. The yield curve inverted in August. They usually forecast a recession 12 to 18 months down the road. And with the slowdown now, <laughs> I think it's pretty clear that that is a very likely scenario. Now, it doesn't mean that the whole world is coming to an end. It just means a recession, a slowdown. A recession is just moving to the downside you're having uh, you're, the, you're not having growth you're recessing you're moving to the downside uh, as far as uh, the economy GDP but it doesn't have to last forever and I don't think this is gonna last forever I think we'll eventually get a handle on this coronavirus thing the scare will go uh, away the fear will go away and uh, will rebound now as I mentioned last night too when you have this kind of damage to the markets you're gonna see some backing and filling here this is not gonna just overnight be a V bottom and revert back to the upside. It just doesn't work that way. We probably at some point will get a snapback rally and then there'll be some backing and filling. And that's what you want. You want to see the market base a bit, give ourselves something that we can use as support to build on and move to the upside from here, especially uh, if you're long the market. That's the likely scenario. So hopefully uh, we'll see that tomorrow. Uh, if not, and that's the difficult thing is tomorrow is a Friday. How many people are wanting going to be want to be long going into the weekend with all the negative news that can could come out of, about the virus. So um, tomorrow is a little bit dicey. But if we can't hold here, then we come down to here.
that's the next level 273 where we retrace this entire long wave phi that started back in the very beginning of june so if we can't hold here that's where we're going that's your next level of support if this doesn't hold and we don't rebound and at least get above this 303 level because remember one day doesn't count you have to have a second day you have to have a follow-through day or a confirmation day anytime a major level of support or resistance is broken that's a rule that i followed my entire trading career so if we can close back above that level tomorrow at least get back above there if not some sort of a, a snapback rally uh, up to the 10-day moving average that would be okay that would give us a chance to hold this level and then uh, build on it and move from here uh, we've been doing these recordings for about uh, two plus years now, and uh, we've been really spot on with what's been uh, happening. I just showed you the recording that we did back on September 3rd. If you haven't so far, give us a like or hit subscribe, or even better yet, maybe consider being a subscriber and coming along with us and getting our live trade alerts. Hope you've enjoyed this. Hope you found it informative, and look forward to talking to you again next time. Be safe out there, everybody.